Hi there, Erica here with Priority Matrix. I've been working closely with an influx of users who are primarily using the Priority Matrix in Microsoft Teams integration. One of the most common questions I get is how is Priority Matrix different for Microsoft Planner? Stay tuned to see the similarities and differences of these two powerful applications. The first thing most people notice is the visual difference. Priority Matrix is based off of the Eisenhower Matrix, giving you four quadrants for each project to easily prioritize your items. In contrast, Planner focuses on the Kanban method, using buckets to help track ongoing work. Here you can see how Priority Matrix uses the four quadrants to focus on item prioritization, with customizable quadrant names and icons to place a higher priority on different items. You can easily drag and drop items between quadrants and projects to reprioritize quickly. To the right, you'll see Microsoft Planner, which uses buckets to track your action items, and you can move these tasks to a different bucket by using the Move To feature. Priority Matrix users have shared that they prefer the visual layout of the four quadrants, as it can be easier to see what your top priorities are. With Priority Matrix, you can see more tasks on one screen, and you can also see which categories or projects they're in, compared to the standard list format in Planner. Another difference between Priority Matrix and Planner is where you can actually access the application. Priority Matrix has a native desktop application that you can download for Mac, Windows, and mobile, a web application, and a full Microsoft Teams integration. Planner supports a web application for your desktop, a native mobile app, and also supports the full Microsoft Teams integration. Priority Matrix and Planner both support different views of your data, helping you see your priorities across the board. Priority Matrix and Planner both include the calendar view and reporting options. The Priority Matrix reports focus heavily on workload management with heat maps and burn down charts. So if you need to see where your deadlines overlap in the following weeks and where you've been spending your time, the Priority Matrix report will be the best fit for you. If you want a more straightforward report showing you the progress of your items and your deadlines, the planner charts would be a good fit. Additionally, Priority Matrix offers an automatically generated Gantt chart where you can update your tasks and plan future projects. A very unique view in Priority Matrix is the one-on-one. -on -one which helps you conduct more efficient meetings by setting an agenda for you and another person. And this agenda will also include your shared office data. The Priority Matrix one-on-one -on -one is a unique people-centric view compared to Planner, which focuses on project-based items. And be sure to check out the search view, which shows you an all-inclusive view of your priorities and Microsoft Graph data. So you can prepare for that meeting or see the status of a client across multiple applications and platforms without even leaving Microsoft Teams. Another key feature users who are evaluating Priority Matrix and Planner typically look at is how they can actually communicate in the application, cutting back on the amount of internal emails. Priority Matrix and Planner both provide a space to add notes for more concrete details for every single item. These two apps are different when it comes to actually chatting with your team. Priority Matrix supports a mini chat for each item, so you can have a fluent conversation by directly messaging your teammates. This also works well for record keeping purposes, so you can always go back and review exactly what was discussed for this item. By using the commands in the chat section, you can quickly update your task as well. Priority Matrix keeps a history of the changes to each item so that you can always know who did what and when it happened for this item. With a bit of a different feel, in Microsoft Planner, each task has a comment section where users can provide status updates for the item or ask questions that they might have. Office 365 is a very powerful ecosystem, and a high value falls on the types of integrations offered between Office and your new platform. Priority Matrix and Planner can both be used in a Teams channel, a one-on-one -on -one chat, or you can actually access the full application through Teams. They both support integrations with the Power Automation templates, which is how users can integrate emails from Outlook into Microsoft Planner. You will see a big difference between Priority Matrix and Planner with the PM Direct integration with Outlook, making it easy to prioritize your emails while in Outlook. 
With this extension, you can either create a brand new action item from this email, or you can attach this email to a task you're already working on to avoid item duplication. You can also see already prioritized emails in your priority matrix and their action items without even leaving your Outlook integration for more context and easier email prioritization. The Priority Matrix Office integrations do not stop there. Priority Matrix lets you see your emails, calendar events, planner tasks, and share files, all without even leaving this Teams integration like we already looked at in the search view. Be sure to note you can turn any of this graph data into a Priority Matrix action item by simply clicking on this email, calendar event, or file, and on the right-hand side you'll have the option to prioritize it. Lastly, after you set up your customized priority matrix connectors to trigger a notification to your Teams channel, this priority matrix data can now be found in your Teams search view for even easier record keeping purposes. Last but not least, let's look at the overall flexibility of priority matrix and planner. Like we looked at before, priority matrix and planner can both be used within Microsoft Teams. One of the biggest differences between these two applications is how you can collaborate across departments or with external stakeholders. Priority Matrix supports a cross-department collaboration or collaboration with any Priority Matrix users for that matter, regardless of them being on your Office 365 license or not. On the other hand, Planner limits users to only collaborating with teammates on their same Office license, so business-wide visibility can be more difficult. If you're an executive in the company and spend time working with other leaders, Priority Matrix will give you the freedom to collaborate with anybody across the company. If you find yourself needing a way to share project timelines with external collaborators or contractors, the Priority Matrix read-only sharing option will be perfect for your team. Lastly, Priority Matrix users love how they can turn a comment in a team's channel into a Priority Matrix action item quickly. So although this comment will be out of sight within just a few minutes, you can rest assured that it's now being managed in Priority Matrix. Priority Matrix and Microsoft Planner both have their strengths in different ways. If you're looking for something with more flexibility, deeper Office 365 integrations, and top priority customer support and training, Priority Matrix is the tool for you. Priority Matrix helps teams, leaders, and companies keep their priorities aligned helping you reach your full potential. Reach out to learn more about the features mentioned in this video and see how they can support your team specifically. You can also go to Affluence.com and search for both Microsoft Teams and Outlook. Thanks for listening.